lesson we introduced about using mentorship to get the new hires aligned with like a senior member so that together the new hire feel more comfortable at this new company accepting a new challenge and starting a new chapter. Now today we're going to talk about what exactly is required from that senior member when as he or she works with this new hire. Now when it comes to growth there's typically four stages involved and I'll explain why these four stages are so important for the mentor as he provides training to this new hire. Now, the first stage of the learning process is unconscious incompetence. Now, what this really means is you don't know what you don't know. When you get into a car, Assuming that you are an inexperienced driver, you've never driven a car before. So in your head, you always imagine yourself driving a car with a, with, a, with a car key and then you just start driving and you always think it's easy, right? Now, what happened is, this is the first stage, always about not knowing what you need to know. And the second stage is conscious incompetence. It means you start to realize that you don't know something. Now, imagine this same person who really have a chance to get into a real car, and then the moment he started using a key, he realized that even after he ignited the engine, the car still wouldn't work because there's stuff that he is missing. And now he starts to realize that it's not as simple. There are things that he must learn. There are things that he doesn't know and he has to follow through and learn so that he will learn how to drive. Now, third stage, conscious competence. This is really the stage that you have to try to learn slowly. I imagine the same person would go to a driving school and slowly pick up all the lessons and get behind the wheels to really learn like a student driver. Now at this stage, this person will still have to learn slowly and be really careful as he goes behind the wheels. But and, and it's expected that he or she will stay at this stage for quite a couple of years so that he will grow gradually and to improve his skill sets. Now, last but not least, unconscious competence. This is a stage that for the same person after he has driven the vehicle, really stay behind the, the wheel for a couple of years, then he eventually develops into a proficient driver that he or she doesn't need to think too much and becomes automatic with driving a vehicle. And from this stage all the way to here, it takes consistent learning and time. And this is why as the senior member, the buddy, works with the new hire, he or she will have to understand at what stages the new employee is at. When the new employee first joins your company, he or she doesn't know what he needs to know. And then slowly, he or she learns that there are things that they don't know, and eventually they will do whatever is within their power to catch up. And after maybe a while, eventually they become that proficient player can help you to deliver it and be result driven.